2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the RBC Canadian Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Delighted to have 2002 PGA Championship winner Rich Beam in the booth. I'm Luke Elvey, and it's a good morning to Henny Koyak, who's out on the course following our featured group. Hey, Luke and Rich. I'm looking forward to treading the fairways again with these two because they were absolute fire the first time round. And I have a feeling that after their exchanges on social media, it'll be even more spicy out here. Well, I'm certainly looking forward to following along with these two. This is a rivalry that could be one for the ages. Can't wait to see what sort of excitement they generate. Awesome stuff. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. That's some good golf right there. Second shot here on the first. target a chance for a birdie if this goes down getting off to a great start at this event and that should calm whatever nerves this player has nice opening hole he currently shares fourth position rich the second hole here at st george's golf and country club a long strong par four it is just around the 475 yard mark. This fairway does slope significantly left to right, so the drives can easily find that fairway bunker down the right hand side. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's looking at perhaps 175, I'd say. Going with the eight iron here. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. They're a long way from the hole here. Work to be done. This for a birdie birdie run. Wonderful part, and that puts some real pressure on their rival now. Moments like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. What an amazing part from way out. Currently a couple under for the event. The first of our par threes at St George's Golf and Country Club. Beautiful looking par three. 
Yes, a narrow green, but very deep bunker surrounding it on both sides. This is a heck of a par three. Come on, get down. Pretty good shot there. There's 17 feet remaining to the hole. This is a good chance. And that's for birdie. Well hold. This player is putting for fun. Now over to Ricky Fowler. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Always a tough shot to get out of. He's going to need a digging truck, maybe? I don't think a sandwich is good enough. And there it goes from the sand. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. The first of the par fives is the fourth hole, Rich. Yes, this hole used to be a par four, but was extended back in 1968 for the Canadian Open. It's a nice opportunity here to get a stroke back after the opening three holes. But watch out, this fairway gets tough to find with the slope that moves it from right to left. Landing area gets very narrow. Yeah, that one will play. Keep focused on that flag while playing to this elevated green. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Hope they pack their bucket and spade because they're heading to the beach. That's my line. Stop it. You can't do that. Playing their fourth shot. He shares the lead. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 10 feet from the cup. Yeah, putting for bogey here. Looking really good, this one. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The fifth hole at St. George's is a par four, Rich. It is. It plays downhill into a valley that kind of moves away from the tee box. So you should see players hit it down there with some distance, leaving a short second shot. Well played, mate. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. 
He's one stroke behind his rival in this event. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. Oh, that's a great approach shot. Playing this shot from around 120 yards. Only one shot off the pace. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. <laughs> Sitting at two under par, tied for second place. Almost went in the hole. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Yeah, he'll take that. That hole looks double the size for this player this week. Just one off the lead after that hole. The sixth hole requires a strong tee shot here at this par three. This hole can play anywhere from 170 to 200 plus there, Luke. Don't miss it right or left, though. Those bunkers are nasty. Looks to be going with the five iron. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. That's a great shot into birdie range here at the sixth. And this part to move into a share of first place. can mark it down that's birdie number four today and with that he'll move to three under par and that makes him tied for first deep into the front nine here we are at the seventh hole Good shot there, Beamer. Now over to Ricky Fowler. He's feeling good, just birdied the last hole. Oh, what a wonderful bunker shot. Okay, let's get back to the action. Playing this shot from 120 yards. Slightly elevated green. They're going to need to take a little extra club to get it all the way back there. He 
pretty sure they had their sights set on hitting the green there. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. This would be a great up and down. Ah, uh, that's a touch of class. Great touch. And this one is for his par. Job done. Let's head to the next. Currently at three under for the day. Reached the eighth hole, uh, par three here at St George's. What a great looking hole it is. Wow, this is a really cool little par three. The green is not very wide, but it funnels in from both sides. However, you just can't afford to miss it short left in that bunker. That is a huge no-no. Opting for the hybrid, I think. That might be one club too many. Good shot there. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's currently in fourth place. Sadly, in the sand, but a chance to make up for the error. Oh, that's clutch. What a way to save your par. And this is why you got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. Putting for birdie. It's got a chance. And down it goes. And that will take him to four under. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. Teeing off now on the ninth hole. Oh, that is crushed. <laughs> Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. Currently in the lead by a shot. going with the hybrid they've decided to club up oh well done oh, a nine foot chance here
Gee, he's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. And that will take him to six under. Well, Richard, feels like this player has poked the bear, haven't they? They've gone out and got an early lead in this matchup. I like that, poking the bear, yes. They're up early, but still, there's a lot of time left. As they said in Gladiator, are you not entertained? I think we will be at week's end. That a boy, good shot. Time for the second shot at the 10th. That's amazing. Wow, what can you say? Holding it out from the fairway. Every player loves that feeling. What a shot indeed. Now over to Ricky Fowler. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that almost went down. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? Just a fantastic shot. Guaranteed birdie he didn't get that close. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. The first of the back nine par fives is the 11th. And this hole we could call what, serpentine maybe, Luke? Yeah, that's what we're going to go with. However, don't get bit and leave it short right in that bunker off the tee because you will be rattled. Look at that. You don't want that ball back. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. This one's right of the green. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, that 
that one just missed the hole. Yes, fantastic stuff. Got to say, well done, birdie guaranteed. Thank you. Was on a good line. Just a short putt remaining here. Leading by four strokes after that one. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Second shot here on the 12th. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Here's Ricky Fowler. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. And a par is all but guaranteed after that fantastic bunker shot. And this from the greenside rough. And he needs this to save par. Good stroke. Now, yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Opting for the five iron. Well, this one might need to get down a little. Well, that's a handy shot. 
Now over to Ricky Fowler. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Well played. Oh, a messy little lie in the bunker, but that is not a problem for this player. Yes, in the hole. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Looking really good. Well, that was a beauty. That had eyes on the hole the whole way. And let's have one more look at that shot. Now this, this is how you putt. Take another look at this. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Looks like they put a good pass on that one. <laughs> Sitting at minus nine for the day. Currently in the lead. Going with the 9-iron, nine I think. <laughs> Playing within their comfort zone there. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Firm, back, up the hill. This will be a good one. Come on, ball. Come on. That's a lovely effort, that one. That's a handy putt to make. Got to like it. Two in a row. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that.
And now that finds him in first place. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Not sure if they got that one flush. This might not find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 15. Uh, that was a little loose. Don't expect a good lie here. And here we are with the third shot. One just outside seven feet to the hole. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Looks good off the blade. And that's eight birdies today. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. A spot in the top 20 awaits if they can make this part. Ooh. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a six-stroke advantage. As we head down the finishing stretch here, Rich, if you want to win a national championship, you've got to step up. First hole, the 16th, a very good par three. This is the most difficult par three on the golf course by a long shot. Stanley Thompson added some bunkers to the rear of this green just to make the golfers accountable for their distance control. That's just mean. Let's see if we can get this one up and down for par. <laughs> Opportunity to make their par.
that was a gallant attempt. This next putt is for Bogey. Well, they say a bogey pleases someone. The rest of the field buoyed now after that drop shot by our leader. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Couple of strong par fours to finish here at Stanley Thompson's masterpiece, St. George's. Very good par four, the 17th. It is, it started off as a par five and now just plays as an enormous par four. Fairway does camber pretty good from right to left, so you gotta challenge that bunker down the right hand side off the tee. Kind of a shot are they facing this time? Setting up here from about 165 yards. <laughs> Choosing the nine iron here. Not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Here's Ricky Fowler's next shot. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. That was a top effort, that one. So close to going down. Trying to get to 11 under with this putt. They're going to walk this one in. And you'll be proud of that one. Good way to bounce back from the bogey at the last. And it's time to recap that play. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. The finishing hole at St George's Golf and Country Club, Rich, is a strong par four. It certainly is that. It was originally a par five as well. It's converted to a long par four to make it a little bit more challenging for the Canadian Open. Plays uphill all the way to a steep green. And the beauty of this hole, Luke, is the magnificent clubhouse in the background. That's heading for the fairway. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Setting up here from about 155.
looks to have opted for the eight iron. This one needs to kick left. That's inside the house of opportunity. Setting up here with a very long putt. Might need to get the feel back on the putting green. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hole. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. These are on rails, looking good. And with that, this round comes to a close. And folks, at the end of this first round, he's going to find himself in first place. That's pretty nice, eh, Rich? Luke, big lead to the opening 36, but no time to get complacent. There's still a lot of golf to play, and they need to continue to make birdies in order to finish ahead. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam, and on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now.